our Dr. Jennifer Ashton joins us now with more on walking and the brain. How does walking help the brain? Well, we've said it before, Harry, what's good for your heart, what's good for your waistline also likely is good for your brain. Mm -hmm. The fact of the matter is we really don't understand fully what causes dementia and Alzheimer's. Right. So right now, the best we okay. have are associations yeah. and factors that seem to be associated with a protective right. effect. Right, because we had that study just a couple of weeks ago. A lot of that stuff that they thought might help stave off Alzheimer's doesn't really do it, but right. it can't hurt. Exactly, and what this study actually found is that the gray matter, which mm -hmm. is the part of the brain that holds the nerve cell bodies right. responsible for things like memory and speech and emotion, did not shrink as they likely do with yeah. all of us as we age in the people who tended to walk the most. Let's walk, let's walk exactly. a lot. So what are some other things beyond walking that are good for the brain? Well, look, again, exercise is very important and you mm -hmm. really wanna exercise your whole body. Then we've heard a lot recently about brain brain boosting foods, so these are fruits and vegetables, particularly green leafy vegetables, uh -huh. fruits with dark skins. You want to stay socially engaged. People who have a good social network, right. even who have pets who are talking to people uh -huh. who are involved with other living things tend to have less dementia. Wait a minute, you mean you have to have friends? I know, Harry. But you're the most social person oh, yeah. we know. Oh, okay, right, and right, lastly, right. you do uh -huh. want to stay mentally active mm -hmm. in middle age. You want to do things that really engage your brain and stimulate new connections yeah. within the brain, crossword puzzles, things like sure. that. They don't help as much if you already have dementia, obviously, but when you're in middle age, they can be really uh, You know, that all kind of ties together. It just helped me on this a little bit. The notion sometimes people retire and you know they take themselves out of using their brains That's and right. maybe as active as they were and it kind of is the worst thing that can happen. And all the things we think are aggravation when we're working right. actually might be stimulating our brain. All right. Be well, young brain. <laughs> and walk to work. Oh, well, of course. Dr. <laughs> Jennifer Ashton, thank you so much.